Hi, I'm Manny Howard. This is Salon Talks. Today, our guest is Melissa Clark, who is a food reporter for the New York Times and the author of this book, Comfort in an Instant. And we're going to, today, we're going to be making um, chicken parmesan in the Instant Pot. Now, you need to help me a little bit on the Instant Pot thing because because you're, you're a Luddite. You're you're a Luddite. You don't like things like this, do you? No, well, I don't. Um, <laughs> but I know we're living in an Instapot moment. We are. And I and I have to, you know, join the moment. Yeah, so I'm going to I'm going to try to talk you into it in the, in the course of this next 20 minutes. So the Instant Pot is it's a it's a pressure cooker. Just and I know that you know about pressure cookers, the old-fashioned kind that sit on the stove and you put split peas in them and they cook really quickly, but you're always a little worried that maybe they're gonna end up on the ceiling. The whole thing's gonna blow up. Exactly. It's and you know that they do make they do use them as bombs. Yeah. So, you know, there are they are certifiably dangerous, but not the electric kind. So what an electric pressure cooker does is it kind of crosses a pressure cooker with a slow cooker in terms of convenience. You take this thing, you plug it in, you load it up with food, and it's all automatic. It does everything. It takes the fear out of it because it's so um, regulated inside that as soon as the pre it hits pressure, it regulates itself so you don't have to worry about it ever overheating. It's not going to happen. There's like 15 different safety valves built into this thing. so. It's convenient, you plug it in, but it's fast. Right. You know, like a slow fast. cooker, you put your ribs in and you know, two days later, they're ready. Right. This, 15 minutes. So it's got the convenience factor because you plug it in and you go, and it's fast. It cooks things really quickly and it's perfectly safe. So I want to talk about the recipes in the book, um, but I, I just want to go through some of these buttons because they're, they're, they're a, a little, lot of they seem very casual, but it's a little mysterious. Like it just says soup. So I don't know what that means. Um, meat, stew, bean, chili, poultry. What, is, what do the buttons mean? Well, the buttons are preset times that it's kind of like the lowest common denominator. It's like, okay, well, most bean recipes cook in 45 minutes. So it's preset at 45 minutes. Or most rice recipes will cook in 12 minutes. Right. But it's much better to set your own. So you can, if you're in a big hurry and you want to make soup and you press it and it says 25 minutes, it'll probably come out okay. But if you're following a recipe, you just use whatever the recipe says because it's figured it out for you. Right. Or you, you start to learn like, okay, you know what? Carrot soup actually takes 10 minutes. So you can hit soup and you can just hit this little minus key until it reaches 10. Or you can just hit manual pressure and then hit the little keys until it, it reaches 10. Reaches. But basically you're just all, I mean, pretty much all of the buttons do the same thing no matter which one you press. You press it, it'll give you a little number. That number is how many minutes it's gonna cook under pressure. Right. And then you, and then it turns itself on and it cooks it for that many minutes. Now are there some recipes that involve all the functions of? You mean like all of them at once? Like, like you can like, press all at once? Well, if you like, you, you saute something and then you pressure cook it for just a little bit of time and then you slow cook it? Like as, as, as there, that kind of thing? Or well, you, you, probably, the, you probably wouldn't go slow and fast. Like you'd yeah. either pressure or you'd slow. Right. And okay. there's a slow, so there's a slow cooking button. Where is it? I never use it, so I don't even know where it is. So we don't, we're not just gonna- There, slow cook, okay, okay. yeah. I don't, you can slow cook in this thing. In fact, if you have a slow cooker, I always say throw it out and just use the, put, get one of these instead because it can cook fast or slow. My slow cooker just um, died on me. The well, plug finally go. rotted away. See? So. so there you go. So you get one of these and you have the option. You can, if you really want to cook your favorite, your favorite brisket recipe that your grandmother has been making and you know exactly how to use it in a slow cooker, right. you can still cook that in this thing. Right. But if you want to take that same recipe and do it on pressure instead, it'll cook in about, probably in about 45 minutes instead of six hours. So, and it'll give me the know, same result. You don't feel like there's I think any it difference? Actually, I think it gives you a better result. Better. Because the pressure, especially with meat, mm -hmm. you know, the pressurized chamber, right. it softens any toughness out of, you know, those tough cuts like brisket or, you know, shanks. Right. It softens it all and it just melts, makes the most melting texture. Wow. So I really like, I like it better. This Instapot moment is yes. it's undeniable, right? Yes. But Instapot has been around for, um, I, Sort of five years is when at I least, became conscious yeah, of it. Yeah, at least, right. but maybe even maybe even seven years. Right. It's just been building. Right. And I think people I people want to save time in any possible way they can. Right. So if they can get one of these and they can make, I mean, God, my favorite thing is to make chickpeas in it. If you can do chickpeas in under an hour, dried chickpeas, right. and you don't have to soak them and you throw them in the pot, this is a boon for people who do not plan ahead. I right. do not plan ahead. I'm very spontaneous. And you can't be spontaneous with chickpeas 
unless you have one of these. You just made hominy the other day, right? I made hominy. If anyone has ever made hominy, you know it takes an entire day. You have to soak it, and then you have to cook it for like three or four hours. And I just did it in an hour and a half. I feel like there's lie involved in cooking hominy at some point. I like, feel like you, know, you read too much you, Little House on the Prairie. <laughs> <laughs> you don't need lie. You gotta and whitewash you the house. Don't in, the, in the Instapot. There's <laughs> no, no lie. No lie in the Instapot. Um, so when you were when you were putting because you've written so many cookbooks, yes, right, and and some of them are, recipes are quite intricate, and all of them are fabulous. Um, but when you're putting together the Instapot, when you're curating the recipes for the Instapot cookbook, yes, what are you thinking? Like how how are you putting them together? And are there things that you really want to include, but you like, you just can't figure out a way? Yeah. In a, yeah, totally. Well, I mean, so the thing about it is a lot of people, when they write Instant Pot recipes, they're so in love with the thing that they don't actually see its shortcomings. You know when you're in love with someone, you're like, oh, they, but they have enough hair. No, really. Or, you know, that suit looks good enough. <laughs> the gun um, in the glove compartment. <laughs> exactly. Not, yeah. um, but what I wanted to do is only do things that the Instant Pot does either as well better or, well, not even as well. It has to be better or more convenient than traditional cooking okay. methods, because otherwise, what's the point, right? So it doesn't do, it's, it's, a, it's a moist environment. You're cooking it in steam, basically, pressurized steam. So it's not going to do crispy. You're right. not going to get crispy skin roast chicken. People who put a whole chicken into that thing and say, oh, it's, you know, at the end, you just run under the broiler, there, it doesn't come out well. So what it does do well are things that naturally benefit from a moist environment, right? right. Like thick cuts of meat. So um, braises, I'm thinking. Braises, right? wintry braises. Um, chicken works really well as long as you do either dark meat or white meat. Because mm -hmm. you know how when you're roasting a chicken, you can never get the white meat to cook at the same rate as the dark. Like there's always like the white meat might be a little overcooked or the dark meat might be a little undercooked. Yeah. It's just going to be exacerbated in that thing. Right. So do all dark meat or all white meat. And um, beans, oh my God, the best beans, like I was talking about the chickpeas. Right. So if you have um, beans that you haven't soaked, lentils, it will cook in 10 minutes, right. unsoaked. You can have lentil soup in 15, like the whole thing. Right. And we mentioned- I love the, lentils too, but yeah. I never, ever, right. ever. Because it's always just- Always out, always yeah. at a restaurant. But. Yeah, but in this thing, you'd make them all the time. And we mentioned the saute function. So if you want to make a soup, or a stew or a braise, right. and you want to brown your meat or your onions, you can do that right in the pot. You don't have to get a pan out because it'll it'll just the heating element will work from the bottom. It'll heat it up. It's like a burner, and you can get a nice sear on it. And it's a proper uh, sautéing surface. It's a yeah, good it's hot temperature. It's uh, stainless, so it's right. good. It yeah. works really well. Right. Um, but yeah, so in so terms you get that caramelization, you get and, the car yeah. and the caramelization is the key to sauce. Right. You know that, right? right. It's like right. when you get that deep, rich color, you pour the wine in, you let it simmer. Just, I mean. The thing about an Instant Pot, which is so great, is yes, it's convenient, but you're still cooking. You know, it's still you. Right. Like, you're in charge. You're the boss. So if you want a nice caramelized, reduced sauce, so you do it in the pot. You just let it you let it simmer and you give it time. Then you add the meat and then it goes fast. Right. So it's that right. combination of, so that's you a, know. So that's a very important detail, too, is you're the boss, right? You that, are the, right. So people think that it's like a magic pot. It's not a magic pot. It's It's just, it's a cooking tool. You're the boss. You're the cook. So don't get lazy, don't think, oh, I'm just going to put everything in and turn it on. You know, if you know that a braise tastes better when you brown the meat, then brown the meat, you know, because it's not going to be as good. But then there are certain recipes which turn out great without browning, um, like the chicken parmesan that we're going to make. So what's so, yeah, so what's so great about that is it's not, instead of breading it, right. I just cook the chicken breasts right in the sauce. So it's lighter, and it's also all about the amazing flavor of the garlic mm -hmm. and the oregano and the tomatoes in the sauce. And it, the pressure really infuses that into the meat. And it's just a very rich flavor. And then tons of mozzarella on top, and then you broil it. Nothing wrong. Although we might cheat a little bit with the broiling. Yeah, I don't think you have a broiler here. There's a trick. Yeah, there's a trick. Uh -huh. <laughs> you just happen to have a butane torch. Just that I carry a butane torch with me wherever <laughs> I go. So um, we'll just return briefly to the to the recipe curation thing. What yes. were you looking for? Like a mix of, like you said, the beans and the braises, yes. and uh, and then that super recognizable. We'll call it the Parmesan. Yep. Um, what else is in there? So what I wanted to do, so I've written two books. The first book was Dinner in an Instant. Yep. And that was when I was like, oh, what can I do with this thing? And I was t I was pushing it to its limits. Like, OK, there's a, a Persian dish called, it's a rice dish, and it has something called a tadig on the bottom. Sure. So it's a Persian rice dish with a crispy, crispy rice. And this is a really hard thing to get on the stove. You can do it in the Instant Pot really easy, as long as you have. You, you do have to buy. Um, a non-stick liner. It costs about 30 bucks. You order it online. Right. And um, and then what it does is it 
automatically creates this gorgeous golden brown crust. So imagine a rice pilaf, except that it's, it, it sort of cooks into a cake, and then you turn it out, and it's got golden brown crunch Crackling. all over it. Right. And then you cut it, and it is so good. So I was really pushing it. I'm like, how do I get that? I want to make that in there. And I was able to do it. For, the, for comfort in an instant, what I decided to do was to really play on the fact that people want this thing for its convenience and its speed. So most of the recipes are after work friendly recipes that will come together in 30 minutes or less. So you get home from work, you've planned nothing, this is me, I've mm -hmm. planned nothing. You look in your fridge and you're like, oh, okay, chicken. And then you can do something really quickly, but really, really deliciously. Right. So some other things, um, rice pilaf is a great one. Risotto. This makes the best risotto in six minutes and you can do anything to it. Risotto with pesto, with mozzarella, with tomatoes, with mushrooms, with sausage. And so, you know, there's a bunch of recipes for things like that. And, and the risotto, you brown the... No, you brown the onion, right. but that's it. And right. the rice for two seconds, or maybe, okay, 30 seconds. And then you add the stock all at once, you don't have to stir, right. and it comes out so creamy. And then, oh, mascarpone in that? Yeah. A little mascarpone? How does it come out creamy? Is it the ste is it the pressure cooking? Mm -hmm. Yeah, because yeah. you know when you're stirring um, risotto, you're yeah. breaking down the starch and the rice, right? Oh. And that's what gives you your sauce is constant stirring to break down the starch. The pressure in the instant pot does that for you. It's like starch, you're out of here, <laughs> and it just becomes this amazing sauce, and you don't have to do anything. I mean, for me, my favorite thing is I'll put stuff in there. I'll get home from work. I'll put stuff in there, and then I'll go for a run because mm. I don't have to babysit it. I can plug it in and leave. And then when I get back, I'm starving. Yeah. And my dinner is ready. That's fantastic. Yeah. You were talking about the nonstick um, insert into yes. the thing. I just happened to have <laughs> Ooh, a box. A box. And um, I'd like you to do the unboxing <gasps> honors. But this is these are some uh, appendages. I suppose appendages is probably not the right word. But uh, accessories. Accessories for the Instapot. Yes. Um, okay, let's look and see. I love I love opening boxes and so these are, let's see if we need any of these things. Because sometimes they sell you a bunch of stuff that you don't need. Right. Some when of I'm, the things I are. I was hoping you would help me understand All right, here, what's let's... really going on. OK, so this thing, if I can get it out. It's up there now. Come on. There we go. OK, this is great. This is something you absolutely need. This is a little bitty cheesecake pan. Isn't it cute? So we're going to do a cheesecake you in this thing? You can do cheesecake in there. OK, think about cheesecake. To get the creamiest cheesecake, you do it in a water bath in your oven, right? Because right. yeah. you create a steamy, moist environment. Steamy, moist environment, Got it. 22 minutes. You put your crumbs on the bottom, your y yummy cream cheese goodness, and then you put it in there. Wow. So yes, you need that. Everybody needs to make cheesecake. You can also make a chocolate tort in that thing. This is a steamer basket. So this is great. Um, these handles on top make it really easy to put in and out. And you can do all your steamed, I do steamed potatoes or steamed beets, butternut squash. Right. Any thick root vegetable works really well. Or even something like broccoli, just don't cook it for long. Do right. it um, I was gonna say, not two minutes very, at low pressure. Right, okay, two minutes. Yeah. So Brussels like, sprouts, I don't know. I'm feeling like Yeah, no, Brussels sprouts, oh, Brussels sprouts are so good in there. Yeah? Yeah, but again, two minutes at low pressure. Right. Because you can really whack the vegetable. Yeah, you, you want to, I mean, vegetables are tricky. Yeah. So people forget that this thing, you can do high pressure. You can yeah. also do low pressure. So when you're cooking something delicate, like chicken breasts, right. like um, fish, or vegetables that aren't you know, root vegetables, like broccoli, you want to use low pressure. Right. So it cooks it a little more gently. Custards, you do low pressure for all your custards, like um, chocolate custard, like a pot de creme. Right. Oh, so good. And, you and do it we're just pushing one, two you're buttons. You're pushing one, two buttons. It's not. I mean, you do have to make the chocolate custard mix. I mean, it's not going to make it for you know. This no, no. thing isn't going to make it. So you're you have the boss. To, you got. You are the boss. You are cooking. You make your. You take your cream. You take your chocolate. You take your eggs. You put them in the blender. Right. It takes maybe five minutes. You pour it into ramekins right. and then you put it in there. Okay. This thing is yogurt. So here, if you want to open that. Um, what's this is fun. I know, right? It's like, can I keep these? These are really fun. No, um, so you can make you can make yogurt in these, or you can make custards or little rice pudding cups, right. or the chocolate pot de creme that I was talking about. And it just fits right in there. Yeah. So okay. there is a yogurt function on the Instant Pot. Yes, that you, button. Exactly. And you can make your own homemade yogurt in there really easily. It keeps it at a perfect 110 degrees, which is the optimal temperature for fer fermentation. And so, for how long? Um, like it, as you can do it as long as you want. So it'll hold oh, the temperature, right. and you can do it. I like my yogurt to be fermented for about eight, nine hours. Okay. But if you like it really sour, you can let it go. I like a milder yogurt. Wow. Yeah. 
And then this, okay. Oh, these are for eggs. Look, little eggs. Yeah, you can, I would never have been able to. And you can, or you can also just use it as a trivet. So if you want to take your cheesecake pan, so you put this in, you put the water on the bottom, and you put your cheesecake pan on top, and then it steams it above the water. Is that important to do? Yes, uh, it is important to do. You don't want to submerge your cheesecake or, yeah, exactly. And it all fits so nicely. Yeah. And, uh, oh, these are good. These things I'll never use. I go, I'd rather burn my hands, frankly. You do that once and you'll start using these. You really? can get a wicked burn. They're so cute. Oh, those are yeah, so see, like, you can, and you could glue, you yeah. could glue like velvet on them and then you would have a puppet. I would totally glue eyes on these yeah. guys. I want, the, can I have these? These are great. Yeah, <laughs> those are yours. Okay, that and my daughter and yeah. I are gonna have fun. The puppets are yours to keep. <laughs> it's my door prize, I love it. Melissa, I love this instant pot. <laughs> Oh, thank you, man. <laughs> this, what the heck is this? Uh, okay, that's great. Yeah, the, the head grips. <laughs> no idea what this It is a bowl. Clip. Okay, so this is a good example of something you do not need I don't. to have. Like they just needed something green in the box. Yeah, I don't know. Okay. I would throw that out. I'm no. taking these. <laughs> I'm taking these with. Can I wear them for the rest of this conversation? Yep, you can. It won't well, be we could just. It won't be distracting. <laughs> <laughs> Melissa, thank you so much for coming on and Thanks giving me, me not only the basic course but also the advanced course with all the gear. I love gear. I know. So. <laughs> Bye. Um, the book is Comfort in the Instant. Um, the fantastic guest <laughs> is Melissa Clark.